welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. I hope everyone had a wonderful New Year's and was able to stay safe and healthy. Um, today I'm going to just do a quick video about my 2021 goals. These are not resolutions. These are not things that I am, um, you know, writing down and saying, okay, I'm going to get to these, you know, first few months of the year. Like, they're just not resolutions in that sense. It's more of like what I want to accomplish this year. Uh, I'm going to go over my garden goals, my farming goals, and my personal goals. So um, starting with gardening goals, I am hoping to get to a point of, I'd say between 50 and 70% um, of our own, our vegetables that we eat uh, coming from our own land. So that means growing a large excess in the summer uh, and being able to process it and preserve it for the winter months. So that is something that I wanted to do last year and I really struggled with. Um, with COVID hitting, um, a lot of people had the opportunity to have more time to garden. I had quite the opposite. Uh, as a nurse, I was working a lot of overtime and so I just didn't have as much time as I had hoped to accomplish my garden goals. So that is my goal for this year. Um, I also want to be able to start making profit with my garden in the sense of selling seedlings and uh, selling excess produce. So those are my major garden goals. Other than that, I don't really have any like huge garden goals. I do want to try to have three seasons of gardening. Um, that's not like I'm going to have a full spring garden, a full summer garden, and a full fall garden. But I'm hoping to have some crops that I can grow early spring uh, with the assistance of cover grow covers and then um, have crops that, you know, move those out and have crops planted again there in the summer. And that will just be a few areas. That's not going to be my whole garden. And then again, with the fall, I'm hoping to have some uh, basically season extension, especially with upstate New York. We are super cold and uh, snowy. <laughs> and so we, you know, we have a... Yeah, but we have a short growing season, unfortunately, here in Zone 5B, so I don't have a whole lot um, of time to grow a lot in the summer, so I have to grow, I have to try to extend my seasons. Um, and then farming goals, again, it's making profit, I'm starting to make profit on my, my farming. Um, primarily this year will be my bees, my beekeeping, uh, beeswax products, honey, things like that. Um, I am going to, and I've talked about this in other videos, I am going to start trying to keep much better track of my expenditures so that I can see what I'm actually able to bring in uh, and maybe possibly start selling meat chickens, not this year, but having that... Probably next year. Probably next year, yeah. <laughs> having that kind of in my mind of like how much I could potentially profit uh, off of meat chickens. And then also... Um, farming goals, I would love to expand some this year. I don't think that's going to happen a whole lot because we are trying to really focus on some landscaping and making this property look a little bit nicer. So we moved into our property last year in January, actually, uh, end of January, and quickly got things going in regards to like the barn um, that we hate now. We quickly put things in and we didn't put in a nice walkway, didn't put in a deck or a patio, um, and we didn't do really any landscaping because we were kind of more focused on the production side of things. Uh, and this year we just want to make our property look a little bit nicer so that we are happier to have people over and not be having it look kind of unfinished because that's, that's all it is. It doesn't look bad. It just looks unfinished. Um, so that's really my farming goals. I don't have a whole lot this year only because like I said, I, mean, I know we're not going to expand a whole lot. I would love to have a million more, you know, farming goals. Um, I would love to start raising pigs. I would love to, you know, get more chickens and be able to start um, making more money on the, the eggs, but we're just not at that point, And I know that, and that's okay. Uh, so that will be probably 2022's goals will be to get pigs and to expand and things like that. Um, and then in regards to personal goals. So I don't have a whole lot of personal goals and this is not a resolution in any way. It's more of, um, just, I need to do this. And I, and I know that, uh, I need to get healthier and it, it's not so much, um, I did gain some weight <laughs> during COVID, but that's not really the bigger aspect. It's just, I don't have energy. Uh, you know, when you're eating unhealthy foods on a regular basis, you don't have energy. And when we were eating healthy foods through the summer, it definitely started to like my energy boosted a lot when I was eating out of the garden. Um, but then fall came and I really stopped and I was just eating junk. And then I did the Whole30. And I cannot tell you how much that changed my life. Uh, in the best way possible. It just gave me so much more energy and made me 
appreciate whole foods and you know healthy foods significantly more and it kind of made me want to move faster with the homesteading and the farming stuff because it's really hard to find super healthy options in a grocery store obviously you can buy fresh produce but and I've heard this from other homesteaders like things get recalled all the time so it's kind of like ew, do you really want to be purchasing you know lettuce in the grocery store and have it recalled um, or just meats are really hard to find healthy organic options that aren't outrageously expensive and um, also options that don't have sugar in it so when you're doing thank you under when you're doing the whole 30 um, you're looking for you have to have meats that have zero sugar you have to have everything that has zero sugar um, natural sugars are okay but anything else um, any added sugars are not okay and 90% of any kind of processed meat in any any form um, pretty much and I when I mean when I say pro processed I mean anything added to it any you know um, seasonings added to it let them sugar is one of them so sausages most sausage has sugar in it um, all bacon all bacon has sugar in it uh, I have found some pork belly that was which is where obviously bacon comes from uh, and it was not sliced up like bacon it was kind of chunks um and obviously that did, wasn't processed so that was good but just it's really hard to find meats if you're unless you're looking for just like a basic chicken broth um or a basic ground beef that aren't that doesn't have sugar in it uh and then, so that's really sad you know eating healthier foods um and getting back to you know whole foods is a huge goal of mine and I want it to be a lifelong thing I don't want it to be something that I do for a little while and then I go right back to eating normal processed foods um so i'm doing the whole 30 again i just started it on january 1st and i already feel like my belly is a million times better um just in a couple days and i feel just lighter and, it, and it's not weight it's just like that heaviness of when you have stuff in your gut that is not healthy uh, i already feel that which is awesome so I'm going to do a whole 30 for 60 days. I'm going to do a whole 60. And then I am going to really just be mindful of what I incorporate. I am not going to incorporate in a whole lot of processed foods. Um, I am going to try to make everything homemade with, you know, good ingredients, good quality ingredients. Um, you know, breads and things. I'm not going to eat breads from the grocery store. I'm not going to eat, I'm still not going to eat bacon from the grocery store or sausages. I have, like, I'm not going to try not to buy things that have sugar. Maybe on rare occasions I will eat something that has, you know, added sugars, but I'm going to really try to stay away from that. Uh, and then I'm just trying to stay healthy in the sense of like working out and, and being consistent because it helps overall with your mood and your energy levels and just the way you feel. It's not that I'm, although yes, I have the goals of losing weight. I would love to lose some weight, but my overall goal is really just to get healthy, just to get back to a state of feeling good, having energy and being healthy. Um, and I think gardening and homesteading really plays into that. I mean, we actually we cleaned out the barn today. Um, so we deep litter and oftentimes you don't clean it out much of the winter at all. Um, but I started my deep litter probably in October. Uh, so it was about time to, to clean it out anyways. And we actually had a rat. I don't, I'm sure there's more than one. If there's one, there's probably more, but, um, we had at least one rat and our rat traps caught it um scared me half to death the other night I was you know feeding the animals and I saw it run by and well it just freaked me out so we wanted to clean it out and just kind of get a, give it a fresh start so that hopefully we could help you know mitigate the, the rat problem um so that we don't have that issue so while we were cleaning out the barn I realized like I was struggling I was struggling to have the strength uh, and the energy to keep up with it and that's really sad I, I shouldn't struggle that much um, but it's just because I'm not in shape and I haven't been eating healthy um, for the past I don't know, couple months since I stopped the whole 30 and so that just really motivates me to get back in shape and to get working out again um, and you know to eat healthy so I have that energy and I can fuel my body the right way so I can have you know I can go out and take care of my animals and not struggle um, so that's why I think they're all incorporated and when you have healthy whole foods in your basement that you have processed through the summer or you're eating out of your garden uh, you don't have you're not as likely to go and you know buy junk at the grocery store or buy things that just even even fruits and veggies sometimes are sprayed with chemicals and, and it's things that we're not supposed to eat um, so I think that's that's kind of huge so that is my goals those are my goals for the year my gardening my farming and my homesteading goals and I hope you guys enjoyed this video Thank you for hanging out with me today.
Remember, we're growing today. Bye-bye tomorrow. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.